Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, we will show you how we have created this beautiful strategic planning dashboard in Microsoft Power BI. As you are seeing my screen, this is the overview page and here we are showing all slicer on the top like year, month, department, goal category as well as honor and the status. You can easily select any value from accordingly whole dashboard will be filtered. Now we are showing these cards total budget, spend amount, achievement score out of 100, strategic alignment score out of 100 and stakeholder satisfaction that is out of 5, 1 to 5. This is the rating basically. Then we are showing here stakeholder stakeholder satisfaction by goal category we have taken these all goal categories in the different plans and then we are showing here the score this is completed percentage how many plans we have completed high rating plans by the owner we can see that here budget versus spent by the department then here on the left hand side we have given a navigation pan and you can simply click on the department analysis so it will take you to the department analysis space you can go from bottom also this is the power bi desktop application file you can publish this to the power bi services from here now in this department analysis space we are showing the same slicer on the top then we are showing here stakeholder satisfaction score by the department that is the rating 1 to 5 and here we are showing the delayed uh, percentage by the department uh, maximum delayed in the IT and lowest in HR then here we are showing the achievement score by the department now let's go to the next page that is goal category analysis again we have the same slicers and here we are showing the in progress percentage by the goal category this is the completed percentage by the goal category and this is the comparison of the budget versus spend by the goal category. Now coming to the honor analysis for the each plan who is the honor we are showing that here and what is the stakeholder satisfaction score we are showing that here. Uh, so for all the plan of this honor we are showing this particular score. Then achievement score by the owner, okay, we are showing that here and then budget is spent, budget versus is spent by the owner. In the last we have the monthly trend wherein we are showing the month on month score for the uh, stakeholder satisfaction and this is the achievement percentage, achievement score which is out of 100 and here we are showing the budget versus is spent by the month. Now I will show you the data also if I touch it and let me show you the data seat this data is coming from the microsoft excel we have connected with the microsoft excel if you want to change the data source you can quickly come to the home and go to the transform data and from the data source setting you can just change this uh, data source it is connected with this one you can just click on the change source after that you can just select your excel file make sure the format should, should remain same when you Take this uh, dashboard you will get that excel file also that data file okay and uh, you can just change this now once you change it automatically your new data will appear here and whole dashboard will be created according to that in the data we are taking id column then we are taking here department goal category initiative name we just have put some dummy names here then the owner name status whether it is not started completed delayed in progress so you can fill the status here target date and the actual date then what is the budget and what is the actual spend we are showing here and the risk rating whether it's a high low or medium then the stakeholder satisfaction that is out of one to five which is kind of rating here we are taking the achievement score achievement score is out of 100 then here we are taking the strategic alignment score which is also out of 100 then initiative scope change we are just putting here this information and uh, on the basis of these all we have created this beautiful dashboard we have also created a calendar ta table here and using the dex function we just have created that this is the dex function we had just have used first we have taken the minimum and maximum value of the 
target then we have used the add columns dax function and inside that we just use the calendar so first we created this table using the calendar min and max then over this we use the add columns and we have used these all columns okay year month year month number month day quarter and week number now coming to the data model part here you can see we just have only two main tables one is calendar another is one is the data so we just have created the relationship between date and the target date now let's come to the majors table also let me show you this major calculation we have created a separate table for that so i'll show you everything here so first we are taking the total or total plan which is just a count rows because each line is a plan here right then we are taking the strategic alignment score we are just taking the average of that then here in the stakeholder satisfaction that is also the average next is the spend usd that is the sum of the spend usd and then we are taking the not started not started is the percentage basically we are taking here percentage so status is not started divided by total so i'll show you this measure also we have created this separate measure total measure we already have displayed this is the total measure okay so let me come to the not started this is uh, what we have created first so that uh, here we are using the calculate function and count rows and we are applying the filter status should be not started then on the basis of this measure we have created not started percentage which is not started divided by total similar to that we have created for the ratings also so medium we just have taken medium and this is medium percentage we have created maximum measures here and uh, although we are not using all of these measures inside the dashboard but we have put that here so that you can use them as you want okay in future now this is for the rating first we are getting the rating then the percentage the same formula similarly for the low rating this rating is low and here we are showing the percentage then status is in progress then we are showing the in progress percentage then high rating then we are showing the high rating percentage here similar to that status is delayed then the delayed percentage completed status and then completed percentage and then we are showing here budget amount the sum and the achievement score is average okay so these all measures we have created now on the basis of that we have created this dashboard inside this dashboard we just have created a design background design in microsoft powerpoint and uh, then if i come here to the canvas background you can see the background 2 is uh, loaded here okay so this is the design we have created inside the powerpoint if you move any let's say slicer then you can see that design is, is still there right or if i make any copy of this and i select this all and delete then you can see that design is still there because that is the part of this if i delete this then our dashboard will look like this all right so you can design in the powerpoint and just save all the pictures as a as an image and then you can load that here from the canvas background and you select that image from here you can select that image okay and that will appear here and over that you can create the dashboard all right friends so friends that is how we have created this dashboard friends i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos Thank you so much for the watching.